Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 26th of 2022. Well, it is titled Cocoon Nebula Wide Field. So what do we see here? Well, looking at the Cocoon Nebula, also known by the catalog designation of IC 5146, is an example of a nebula out in space. Now it may actually resemble a comet a little bit here with the head of the comet to the left hand side brighter area there, and then stretching back in the tail or tails of a comet off to the right. In reality, of course, this is much larger than a comet because the head itself would can would span 10 light years and the tails would be about 100 light years. So while a comet is something that easily fits within our solar system much smaller than this, these are much, much larger. Now when we look at these nebulae, the brighter nebula off to the left hand side is actually a very a young star forming at the center. So the star has formed in fact very young only a couple hundred thousand years old. And it does a couple of things. First of all, it energizes the nebula and causes it to glow. Before this would have been bright, it would have been a dark nebula as we see towards the right. There was not any energy within to cause it to glow until that star formed. Once that star did form, then it started emitting a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which energized the parts of the nebula around it and causes them to glow. So the darker knots of star formation that we see off to the right hand side are also areas where stars are forming. Now I said it did a couple of things. It's also in the process of clearing out that region. So it's hollowing out that central region of the bright nebula there. And that will happen again over another hundred, couple hundred thousand years. And it will continue to push material outward and eventually clear out the gas and dust that remains. So stars form from gas and dust in space clouds like we see here. But they also eventually push that material away, clear it out, leaving just behind the newly formed stars in a young star cluster. And that's what will be left behind in a few hundred thousand or a million years once this has finished this process. So what we see here that may vaguely look like a comet is actually a star forming region known as the Cocoon Nebula, where a recently formed star energizes a lot of the material around it and causes it to glow. So that was our picture of the day for October 26th of 2022. It was titled Cocoon Nebula Wide Field. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.